Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, so I get um, asked a lot um, uh, uh, from you guys about how do you add a logo or you know something to protect your images and so I do mine in Microsoft PowerPoint it's really really quick once you do it you can use that going forward so it's not like something you know you have to continue to do once you um, are happy with the design of your logo or wording or text or whatever you want to add then you save it as a picture and then you just bring that picture in anytime you're uploading images. So here I am, I'm in Microsoft PowerPoint. You guys know it's one of my favorites. And what I'm going to do is go to design and I'm just going to change the slide size to an eight and a half by 11. And we're gonna leave it in the portrait orientation and click okay. We're gonna say ensure fit you'll end up with something like this. We're going to right click on this blank slide on the left and we're gonna come down to layout and choose blank. And that way you can get rid of the presentation type um, content that's on the front of that slide. And then going forward, all you have to do is just right click and select new slide and then everything is already set up for you, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to insert a picture. And this is a picture that I just created. All right. So we're going to go in and let's say we're going to take one of these little cuties. Okay, so here we have a little cutie right here. Now in Microsoft PowerPoint, I could go in and I can remove the background. So picture format is selected here because we clicked on the picture. I'm going to come over to the left and select remove background. Now, anything that has kind of like this um, really uh, vibrant pinkish like color um, is going to be deleted. Whatever you want to keep in the picture, you want to bring it back to its original color. So you're going to have two tabs here. You have mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove. I'm going to select mark areas to keep. And then you get like this little pencil that you can see moving on my screen. And all I'm going to do is just click and drag click and drag and I'm, I'm clicking on the left side of my cursor or my mouse. I'm gonna bring his eyes back. You notice that pink hue color is going away. And then we're gonna grab his little shoes here. Now you'll see when you bring some things back in, you can see that the white came back in right here, but we're gonna take care of that and we're gonna try to get a little bit of um, get all of this shoe in there. Now we're going to click on this second tab, which is mark areas to remove. And we're just going to click inside that little white space right there to get rid of that. And then we're going to click right here above his head to kind of get rid of that little bit of white that was there. And I can see here that his ear has been cropped out or, you know, removed. So you can tell the difference here is the original ear. And then here is that pink hue. Um, so we're going to click on mark areas to keep. And we're going to take that pencil and come down this ear like that. And you see it brings it back into the um, image. 
So I always just kind of go around and just make sure I got everything because sometimes, you know, you can miss stuff and don't see it until you bring back the um, the original color. All right, so there we have it. I think we got everything on him now. We got a little earring. He's dapper. Okay, and there we have it. Okay. So if I wanted to watermark this image, so to speak, what I could do is come up to the menu and select insert, and I'm going to insert a text box. And then I'm just going to left click and drag, and I'm gonna put in my Candoris Creative Crafts. Just like that and I'm gonna keep this really simple guys so what I would do is let's say I wanted to make this a fancy print so I'm gonna come right under transitions this is where you can select your fonts and you can see that as I lay my cursor on the font without even actually selecting it it shows me what that font will look like which is always really good so you can kind of see it before you um, select it so I'm gonna go with this Allura right here and I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to bring this in because I don't need that much space. And let's see what the bold will do. And I'm going to come here right under record and select center. And actually, I want the whole thing centered, not just that one part. All right. So now I have Candoris's Creative Crafts. Okay. So I can make this big or small right next to your font you have or your font type, you have your sizing. So you can make it as large or small as you want it. So there we have Candoris's Creative Craft. What I would do now is I would just click on this, right click and select Save As. Where are my eyes now? Save As Picture. Okay, and then I'm just going to place on my desktop here and just call it watermark. Okay, watermark test and save. Now I can keep this to design going forward. I'm going to copy this and just bring it here. Um, you know, so that I can always have this to kind of play around with, and especially if you're not satisfied with it, you just did it for in the moment. So we're gonna go here now and we're gonna select insert picture this device. And I'm gonna go back to my desktop and I'm going to select that Candoris's Creative Crafts. Okay, so you can see now that we have a watermark and that's super dark because you don't wanna interfere with the uh, color or your image, so to speak. So what I would do is I would take this and I would click on it and I would say side, uh, format picture, because it is a picture now instead of just text, and come over to this very last icon under format picture. Another way that you can get to format picture, once you click on your whatever you wanna format, you can come here and click these little arrows and it'll also open up your format picture. Okay, but we're going to click on this fourth. We have four little icons here to work with. You have your fill and line, effects, size and properties, and then you also have picture. So we want to select the one that says picture, and we're going to come to picture transparency, and then you can drag that over. And you notice how it just now went really, really light. And so I can leave it like that. So anyone would be able to tell that there is a watermark on this image. Okay. So what I would do is I would take and I would copy both my image and I'm gonna take out some of this extra space guys, cause there's some extra space on his picture. So I'm gonna go to picture format, crop, crop. And you, anytime you crop, you wanna make sure you're on the little dark bolded little lines here. It's always best to, um, you know, crop from the top left or right or bottom left or right instead of the center, but there's nothing really going on here except for some space. So I'm gonna crop out that space and notice it's not impacting him 
because we're cropping the image. We're not resizing the image, okay? So we're gonna take out that extra space. And now that's gone. I can bring this back over. And you can place that wherever you want to. A lot of people like to put it right, especially when you're working with a, a photo like this, they like to put it in the middle. So it's obvious that it's watermarked, okay? So I could take both of these now and left click after I select both and say group. And now that is one cohesive image, okay? So I could take this, click your image now, and then we're gonna right click and say save as picture. And you can put that wherever you like. I'm just gonna put it here on the desktop. And now this has been saved as a picture. So wherever I put this image, it's gonna have that watermark in the middle, okay? And the good thing about this is I can come here and say new slide, insert picture, this device. And let's say we take another image. I'm gonna go back to the desktop here. <clears throat> and let's say we bring in this little rainbow brighty, little cutie. I'm going to crop out some of this unnecessary space here. Okay. And then all I have to do is just come here, click on that watermark that's on his forehead, and then paste it right onto her. Now remember, you can make this as dark or as light as you like. So you have it selected. You can go back over here if you want it to brighten that up a little bit so that it is a little bit more noticeable because she's a little bit chocolate, a little dark chocolate. So you could put that there. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And again, all you have to do is highlight them both. And then click and save as picture. Okay, and again, you now have that where it is watermarked um, based on what we just did. Now, I moved it, so of course the watermark is not there, but if I go here and do a new slide and then say insert this device and select either one of those pictures. So here she is. You see that there's that watermark. And if I insert him, there's the watermark, okay? So both of these images now have a watermark on them. Okay, and you can get really creative with your watermark. I'm doing something simple just to show you how it works. Um, so you could save this file, you know, save as PC. I'm just going to say, I'm going to put it on my external drive. I'll just call it watermarks. And that way, whenever I'm, you know, bringing in an image, I can come here, add that really quickly. Now, some people like to get super creative because they want to protect their entire design, and you can do that as well. So what I would do is I would take that Ken Doris's Creative Cap Crafts, And I could paste that over a couple of times like this. Okay, and then highlight all of them and copy and paste. And then drag and bring them down. Okay, and those red lines, guys, are just letting you know that it's aligned. 
and I can paste again. So you see how we got the red lines? It's letting us know that it is centered. So you could do something like this, and then all you would do is just highlight all of them and say, I'm just gonna do it on a separate slide. So this would be the slide that is like my template. This is where I'm now creating a watermark, okay? So I'm gonna highlight all of them and group. And now once I get it grouped, when I click on this, it's all one and cohesive. Now you could go right in to do, um, you know, the coloring from here. You don't have to wait until you get to the end. I always like to just go ahead and save it as because I, I know I'm going to play around with the colors when I save it as a picture anyway. So I'm going to show you here. So now I would take this and say, um, save as picture. And now I can call this, let's just say, watermark test two. And save. So let's say that I brought in a larger image. And let's see what I want to play with this line. Okay, so this one I've already watermarked. I'm going to show you the example. You can see how Candor's is all over this entire image, not just the face. Okay, so you can see my Candor's watermark all over this particular image. So that's what I'm showing you how to do now. So I'm going to bring in another image. And let's see. Mid journey folder here. And let's say I brought this image in and I don't want to just put it on the face. So I'm going to go insert picture this device. And I'm going to go back to my desktop and grab that watermark test two. Okay. And there it is all over the entire image. And so that people can still admire your artwork, you just come over to your picture. You want to make sure you're clicked on the actual watermark or text, not the image. And then just slide that transparency over like that. And you can see now the Candoris all over that design. I'm going to group it. Okay, and now when I say save as picture, it has been watermarked. So if I were to delete this and then bring that image in, it's watermarked all over the entire photo. So it's just really how you want to do it. Some people use text only. You can add um, an image in with your logo. Whatever your logo is, um, that's what you're going to be working with. I just kept it simple simple by using Candor's as creative, creative crafts, but um, I just wanted to show you how you could do this in Microsoft PowerPoint. Lots of tools out there. You can do it in Canva. You can do this in Photoshop. Um, you can also do this in the IMG creator, which I showed you today. You can create watermarks pretty much anywhere in, in, in all of the software. Microsoft Word, you can create, you know, um, your, your logo or watermark so that you can watermark your pictures or images going forward. Okay, really quick and easy and down and dirty. And like I said, if you save that file, you'll always have that to kind of work with where you've already um, watermarked some images, you know, you can keep that rolling. And you also have these where you can change it at any particular time. So remember, this was my template. I can come back here and say, I don't want to do Candor's Creative. I just want to do Candor's Crafts. So I could remove that, you know, from here. 
And actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to duplicate this in case I change my mind at some point in time. Then I can come here and just take out creative. And then I'm going to get rid of each one of these. And then I'm going to highlight these, copy, paste. And again, really quick, not hard at all, guys. Okay. And you can do as many or as little as you like. It's totally up to you. Okay. But once you get them in, highlight to click on all of them. And then you're going to right click and select group. And now it's all one cohesive. And then after you group it, now again, this is your template, so you don't want to ever mess up your templates. One of the things that I recommend you do is, you know, to give yourself, you know, a hint that this is your template so that you'll know not to, you know, um, mess up this one. So we know that this is our template. That we're working with. And That way you'll know. Okay. So being that that is your template, what I would then do is come here and say duplicate slide. You can remove template from here. And now I can take this one cohesive picture and do save as picture. And now I can call, oops, that's not the one I wanted. There we go. This is our template. So I could take this one now. And you want to make sure that there's just one solid box or line going around the entire thing. You're going to right click and say save as picture. And I'm going to go back to desktop and just say watermark test three. And save it, save it as PNG. And like I said, now <clears throat> we could delete that and we can say insert picture, this device, go back to our desktop. And there is our watermark, watermark test three. You can immediately go over to your size and make that as light as you so choose. You can even, you know, play around with the color, you know, if you want to make it a different color, let's go, okay, so it's basically recolor, if you don't want to do, I just like to use the black and then change it to a, a very, very light, 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 light shade of black, so you can barely see it, but you can add color, all right, so that's it, guys. Just wanted to drop in and show you how to do that. And uh, it's really easy. Make it as difficult or as easy as you so choose. But you want to make it something so that once you save it as a picture, you don't have to do a lot of work to it. Okay. Now, I could go in And take this one and go ahead and recolor let me do it on the I'm gonna do it on the other one. I could come here and take this and again I'm just clicking here on that very last um, little icon for the picture and we're gonna come down to recolor. So I could go ahead and select something that's already like really faint. 
so that I don't even have to go in. The reason I like to play around with it is because you can see that based on the color of your images, you may have to go a little bit. Like I could do the fairly light on him because he's kind of like a, um, what a, a caramel color. But then on her image, she was like really chocolate. And so I had to go a little bit bolder with the Candor's Creative Crafts. Um, something else that would really work instead of just using that is to go back and grab, you know, that one where you can do an all over. Oh, I forgot I saved that as a picture. Sorry, but picture this device and we're going to do the watermark this three. Where we get that all over. And then you can size this like that. Come over to your color and we're going to do picture transparency. And then you could shift that like that where they can still see it faintly in her face. And then you're going to click on both and group. And now you have one cohesive image. You just want to make sure that you right click and save as picture. Okay. So it's clearly watermarked. You can see it better than if you just had, you know, a simple name in the middle of the face. Sometimes people aren't really concerned with the body part. It's more the faces because you can take that saved picture with that watermark. You can take it into remove background, but it's not going to remove that watermark. Okay. So if I take this image and say, save as picture, desktop, we're just going to say picture 32. Now, if I were to go into remove BG, which is what a lot of people use, and upload that photo. You see Candor's is still in her face. It's all over her hair and everything, okay? So when I choose download, it looked like my back, it looked like it took away your watermark, but when you bring it up, guys, I'm going to show you. It is still in her face and everything. So that's why I tell people, make sure if I copy this and now go back to my PowerPoint. I'm just going to bring in a new slide. Kendor's is still all in her face. If I take this and do a solid color background, it's too blue. You can still see, like I said, the, the logo there. There we go. Now you can see it better. So that's why I say always make sure, regardless of what size it is, that you have that logo in the face. Because if you don't, when they remove, try to go in and take your image and remove the background, it's going to remove that part that was outside of the image because that was a part of the background, but it's not going to remove whatever was covering the entire portion of the image. Okay. So that's just, you know, a little tidbit there. Um, but yeah, you can still see Candoris is all over her image. All right. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in one of my, not one of my, if you're currently in my Facebook group, Candoris is Cricket and Creative Crafts. Thank creative crafters. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook. If you would like to join my group, um, then please go to the description of this tutorial, click on more, which is a hyperlink, and it's going to actually um, take you to the description of this tutorial and scroll down to the very bottom and click on my group name, Ken Dorses Cricket and Creative Crafters. And all you have to do is agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in. 
If you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys, thank you so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.